Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to our daily tune-up today. Here's something we really haven't discussed very often, and it's another one of those subjects that I think everyone feels it at one time or another. Some of us might be a little more intense with it, and others may not. It's loneliness. I had someone come to me one time, said they've never been so lonely as when they went to a 49er football game with 30,000 people sitting around them. How can that be possible? One of the things that happens in loneliness is, is when we're with someone, when we're hanging out with someone, when we're letting life happen but we're being stimulated by external sources other than friends and buying things and doing things and moving about, there's two things happen with our consciousness. One of the things is we are entrained with what's going on around us rather than what's going on inside of us. Loneliness is a factor of validation. When we're with someone, we feel validated. We feel good because they're with us. That makes us feel okay. When we're alone, sometimes that validation is not there because it's been stimulated by external sources. One of the problems with that is, is we have to be able to validate ourselves. For us to feel good, either when we're alone or when we're not, we have to like who we are. We have to be able to listen to our own thoughts and understand them and also feel okay about them. Each of us have those seedy little thoughts sometimes that we don't want anyone to know about. That's pretty normal. However, loneliness has to do with that external stimulation being the only way you feel okay. Many people deal with loneliness by shopping too much, drinking too much, running around too much, being busy too much, overextending themselves because the chaos covers up the loneliness and somehow they feel important and validated because they're busy. You've got to be able to be totally okay when you're by yourself, even around 30,000 people, and you know none of them. You've got to be okay. And the way we can start being okay is to look deep down inside ourselves and find our personal value and look at our uniqueness and what we bring to the world. Keep in mind, your unique flavor of life is unique. There is a purpose for you even though you may not be working or maybe this whole market and economic situation we're in has put you in a place that's more insecure than you've ever been, you've still got to be okay by yourself with yourself. So I want you to start working on validating yourself. Validating yourself by telling yourself, you know what, I am unique, I'm okay, and I have talents and skills, and I'll be just fine. I want you to tell yourself that you're going to be okay because you choose to be okay, not because someone is your friend, not because you drive a certain kind of a car, or you have a big house. I want you to be okay without all of those things. And the way you do that is to start inside and start working on the way you think about yourself. So let's validate ourselves today. Let's take a look at what we can bring to the world. And let's give someone else a smile and watch them smile back. And even if they don't, it doesn't mean you're not okay. It just means they might be having a bad day. The whole center of loneliness is a thing called codependency. That means we're not happy unless someone else is happy or someone else is telling us that we're okay. We have to tell ourselves. Let's start working on that today. And I want you to have a very, very stimulating day today. And notice how unlonely you can make yourself. Until tomorrow. This is Dr. Gary saying bye-bye.